Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome to another episode of Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be reviewing some fragrances from one of my favorite Italian niche houses called Boyce 1920. They are Ultramata and Real Patchouli. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Boix 1920 is an Italian perfume house founded in 1920 by Guido Gallardi. It was short-lived, closing its doors in 1925. In 2005, the house was resurrected by his grandson Enzo, who reinterpreted the formulas created by his grandfather. Since their relaunch in 2005, the house now has 32 fragrances in their collection. Let's have a look at their packaging. That's the outer sleeve. This is the box for Ultramare, Bowie 1920. This was a limited edition release. Bowie 1920. This is the beautiful blue flacon. The whole collection has the same flacon but they have different colors. This Ultramare is in blue, a beautiful blue with a gold cap. Bowie 1920 on top. Really, really well done. Bowie 1920 is an Italian niche house that I've really grown to love. For me, right up there with Serge Off, another Italian niche house which I adore. Since I've become a serious collector maybe around 2009 or thereabouts I've only finished four bottles they were Tom Ford Black Orchid Tom Ford Private Blend Amber Absolute Tom Ford Private Blend Black Violet and Boy 1920 Real Patchouli what works for me about this house is Enzo Gallardi's ability to bring an array of complex notes into a harmonious blend of wearable fragrances since these fragrances contain a lot of notes, I'm going to forego the notes listed part of this video and just tell you what I smell. Ultramare. Wow. I get tea. I get tangy lemon. I get a little bit of florals. Oh, this is so, 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 so nice. There's a subtle floral element in the background. And then it dries down to a bunch of woods, if you will. Maybe sandalwood. This is just really, really great. On my skin, it lasts for seven to eight hours, period. It's not a big monster. A projection but it is very relaxing I love the tea and definitely some tart fruits riding in the background so enjoyable oh my god why is voice 1920 ripple truly so good well first off you will have to love patchouli it is straight up patchouli but it's not dirty. It's very pleasant. It has some incense nuances. It has some benzoin and a lot of vanilla in the dry down. And it lasts for hours upon hours. This is one that I wear to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I can still smell the richness of patchouli. Oh my God, so good, so good. If you are scared of patchouli, you must try this one because you will love patchouli after you try it. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today on Boyce 1920 Ultramare and Real Patchouli. Short and sweet like I always do. If you haven't tried these, I'd love to give you the opportunity to do so. I will offer five mil of each of these to one lucky subscriber. 
All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite Voice 1920 is or what your favorite part of this video was. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you at the next review. Take care. In 2005, the house was... It was shrunk. <laughs> Since their relaunch in 2005, they now have 32 for... <laughs> Voice... <laughs> Harmonious and... Enzo Galati's ability to bring such... <laughs> this right here... Voice 1920 Real Patchouli is one of the best patchoulis I've ever smelled in my life, in my life. Oh my God, really, I am telling you in my life. Why, why is this so, so good? I uh, said so, this is so good. <laughs> For one lucky, uh, uh. <laughs> All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, and leave one comment down there.